Hello everyone, this is Kevin from Kev Central. If you followed my videos, you know that I have had a little saga getting a good Stormcat generator. I went through a few of an older model number, a 60338, and I ended up finding, uh, finding Serenity in the 69381 model. I've had it running now for over 25 hours, works great. But I've had some questions asking me what the differences are between the two. So what I've done is I've bought a new 69381 and a new 60338. We're gonna take them out of the box, take a look at them. Okay, before we get into the unboxing process, I just wanted to cover one thing about the boxes themselves. Uh, they're a little different. Uh, the outside decorations are pretty much the same, but as you can see, I've got them lined up here. Uh, the corners are all even, but you'll see the top one, which is the newer 69381, is actually longer uh, than the, or wider rather, excuse me, than the old 60338. And if you get around to this, you can see that the 60338 is actually deeper than the 69381. And we're going to see in just a second that's because of the way the foam, or the way the generator sits in the box. Uh, they are oriented differently in the way that they're packaged, just from possibly the two different manufacturers. But let's start uh, opening these up. Take a look. Okay, let's get these open. I have on the left side the newer 69381. On the right side the older 60338, which is the one that I had multiple problems with. Let's cut into these. Try to stay out of the camera as much as possible. So we've got our instructions on the top there. Instructions on the top here. But, let's take the camera off the stand here. And let's look, and you'll see what I was talking about with the orientation. Uh, here's the instruction packet. This is again the 60338. You see in our instruction manual we have an accessory packet with a tells you when it was made. Now this one was made on September the 21st on 2015. And you can see it's got the handle screws there. On the 69381, it's just an instruction manual. Let's get these out of the way. You'll see what I was talking about. You see how this generator, this older model's down in here? You actually have to flip this box and slide this foam out because it goes all the way around the generator. Whereas on the newer, 69381, we just lift up and there's our generator. So I'm going to try to position the camera a little better and we're going to try to open these out. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and turn this box upside down and slip this older model out. Okay, here is the older 60338. You see, I had to turn it upside down and then sit it on its side to get it out. And you can see in the styrofoam, there is going to be the handle assembly that I'll need to mount. But in the 69381, you will see that in the foam, that is just foam. And the handle assembly, I believe, is packed underneath this. Let's pull this out and take a look. Okay, I have the 69381 pulled out of its foam. And you'll see that down under the foam, there is a little accessory pouch. Along with the handle. So we've got the screws, handle, accessory pouch. And again, this is the 60338, the old model. We have the handle, we have the screws inside the instruction packet. Here. And nothing else. Okay, we've got our two little generators out of the box, sitting side by side. Again, on this side, the newer model, 69381. This side, the older model, 60338. 
It's right out of the box. I can tell just a couple of small differences. Number one, uh, and I was wrong, I, I said only the handle came with 603. They had actually a handle and a spark plug wrench. Uh, you can see this is the older long type than the screws. The 6938, this is 60338. 6938 the newer one, comes with the handle. They appear to be, huh, slightly different dimensions. Uh, look at that. See, actually, let me do this. This is for the older one. Line these up evenly here. Yeah, now if you can see, but the newer one is slightly longer. It's a wider, wider handle. Yeah, look at that. I don't know if it would mount the same. Looks like the outside plastic is just a little thicker. Actually, it might be the inside plastic, but uh, either way, make sure I've got the right one here on the... Okay, after looking at it, actually the same width. One is just molded to slightly thicker on one side. Now we've got our two handles. Obviously I went over that. And then this one, you get this little canvas pouch, which in my previous videos I covered. It's got a little screwdriver in it and a spark plug wrench. But you'll see the spark plug wrench considerably, considerably shorter than the one that came in the 60338. Okay, you're also going to see we have gaskets for our handle, uh, the gaskets or grommets that go top of the tank. Yeah. It's not feels just, there's a little oil on here. Um, none in the 60338. Now, handle contents and other packaging aside, let's look at the generators. This one's a slightly darker red. Uh, this one's kind of a orangey red. This is a little deeper red. Our stickers, I went over this in a previous video and I was wrong. I'd said that the color was white on these. Same color scheme, gray and black, but you'll see a thinner border around this one. This has a thicker, a much thicker border. Now we have the same stickers here and here. Much larger sticker on our gas cap, a very small one on this gas cap. Gas caps appear to be about the same. This one's actually a little shinier. Uh, this one is not quite as shiny. Uh, these stickers are the same, but they're in different locations. See, this is in the recess here, and this is up on top of the tank here. Interesting there. I'm looking at the side now. Get this turned. This turned, probably marring up my floor. These side stickers, uh, we have one large sticker here, a little serial number sticker. We've got two individual stickers here. Let's look at the, we've got the same rubber plug here. There's our ground port, <laughs> which ironically or incidentally has a lock washer and a grip lock washer on this one. This one, it just has just a little grip lock washer. Okay, our exhaust. Now this was something, I'm going to go around behind the camera. Okay. Here. This exhaust, I don't know how well you can see this, but there are subtle differences in the exhaust. Uh, this bulge is smaller than it is on the newer 69381. The port appears to be a little longer in position, just slightly lower. Now this could change, I mean these are little Chinese generators, so this could probably change from you know generator to generator even on the same line, but I remember seeing a difference and this is the second box in a row that the 69381 is different than the 60338. Okay, so I'm going to put the phone back on the mount and I'm going to turn it again. Okay, just FYI, don't turn rubber footed generators on a white floor. I'm going to be scrubbing that off for, a, for quite a while. But uh, we're looking at the back now, appear to be the exact same stickers here. Again, this generator, at least this heat shield on this 69381 is a little higher, possibly a little bigger than the other one. I uh, don't know that it's in the hot pressing is in a different location on both of them. But now, this is another thing that I covered in a previous video. I don't know if you can see the spark plug cap very well. I'll zoom in on them in a second. But this coil wire 
and the spark plug cap are different. As well as going to be the plugs that are in these things. Oh, I'll see if I can do this one got grease all over it. See if I can zoom in on these as well. But these boots are different. Uh, again, just two totally different quality manufacturers. And I can even see, you won't be able to see this because of the sham, but the, the ribs on the head, the cooling ribs on the head are significantly more refined looking and pronounced than they are on this one. They look really rough. Uh, these little side plates that we looked at, they have some venting. And I'm looking at the venting manufacturer and it looks much better on the newer 69381 than this older 60338. The 60338 actually appears to be just a hair wider. Let's see if I can find a tape measure. I have one here. That is an inch and a quarter. Let's see if I can move this. Yeah, and these Mars I put on my floor to get that off. Yeah, and this one's an inch, inch wide. So this is a a quarter of an inch wider uh, than this, but this seems to be manufactured just a little better. Okay, now I'm going to pick up the phone camera. I'm using an iPhone as a camera, and we're going to look at this spark plug wire. See, it's a bare wire. And you've got this little spark plug cap that's really flimsy. I mean, it's it squeezes in on itself. And if you've watched my spark plug change video or my NGK plug cap video that where I modified my my six nine three eight one, uh, you'll see that there's just a little coil spring in here. And what's the problem with this flimsy cap? If you're pulling this off and on, and these plugs that come in these are not the best plugs in the world. From the factory pretty much universal recommendation to change them here you see an f5 tc a torch plug and this comes apart it'll come apart on itself now compare that to this one a you're gonna see heat shielding it doesn't exist on this other one no heat shielding so and you also see a thicker much thicker spark plug boot See if we can see this spark plug number. Let's see. I uh, know. Can't see it on here. Mine actually came with even a different one than was recommended in the manufacturer, but this will be a F6TC on this newer 69381 versus the F5TC on this older one. But that's just a visual comparison, just right out of the box. Uh, oh, I forgot. I'm going to turn them one more time here. Okay, I have them turned. Uh, this is the last last view here. Evident again, you see this insulation that is on the newer 69381. It's older 60338. No insulation. It's excellent or easy to see here. Side covers look identical. I don't see any difference in these. Sticker placement's a little off on this one. It's almost perfectly centered on this one. Ah, pull handles. I hope you can see this. We'll come in a little closer here. Look at this one. Let's start. Now let's look at this one. They're shaped different. <laughs> Demolished. That French. Uh, start. I wonder if this has French. Not just pee pee. Okay. Uh, but you can see they're shaped different. Uh, little. Eh, I don't know. This one's not bad. Uh, of course, I'm used to the one like this cable let's look at that cable looks exactly the same cable looks exactly the same uh okay but that's our multiple views what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the handles on these i'm going to get them labeled so i don't get them mixed up of course it would wouldn't be very hard to get them mixed up with the different colors and things that i know to look for on each one but i'm going to get the handles on these and then uh we're going to do some comparisons. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use these two generators. Uh, there's a gentleman named JK18, has an excellent YouTube channel, does some reviews. And it's J-A-Y-K-A-Y-1-8. And JK18 actually stated in one of my videos that uh, the expected life on little small two-stroke engines isn't all that much. But uh, I disagreed a little bit with that because I've had quite a few two-strokes that have lasted quite a long time. So what I'm going to do on these generators, nobody really knows how long they last. I mean, we've got varying reports from 
you know, two minutes to people that 16, 1600 hours you saw them. Uh, one gentleman I talked, 1,673 hours, I think he said he had on it. Multiples that I've talked to that had nine, 900 plus hours on them. What I'm going to do with these two generators, we're going to fuel them up. I'm going to use the exact same oil, the Lucas 2 cycle oil that I use in my other one. I'm going to give them the exact same conditioning that I gave my other one. Half load break ins with varying loads. And then we're going to run these things until one of them dies. And we're gonna see how many hours we get out of these or if I just give up trying, which is, I hope, the case. I don't expect this 69381, or excuse me, the 60338 over here, this older model, because it's gonna leak at the spark plug port like all of the 60338s that I had did, I'm almost sure. But this 69381 over here, the newer model, I think it's gonna hold up pretty well just like mine, but uh, this will be a test. So you guys uh, subscribe to the channel, follow this, and uh, if you're interested in these generators and we'll see what happens thanks for watching okay uh, really quick on the instruction manual differences uh, pretty much the same lay out everything else but here on this older model 60338 60338 f5tc plug 69381 f6 TC plug. You see those plug differences. Uh, all the other specs were the same. Just wanted to cover the differences in the manual there.